Greetings to all of you, my dear sisters and brothers and my dear friends, and all of you, everyone who is maybe now for the first time on Spreaker Broadcasting. You are welcome. This is a new reflection on streams in the desert. And today we're going to talk about I will move along slowly. This is your pastor, Yeti. Genesis 33 verse 14 says, I will move along slowly at the pace or paths of the droves before me and that of the children. What a beautiful picture of Jacob's thoughtfulness for the cattle and the children. He would not allow them to be driven too hard for even one day. He would not lead them at a pace equal to what a strong man like Ezra could keep or expect them to keep, but only one as fast as they were able to endure. He knew exactly how far they could go in a day, and he made that his only consideration in planning their travel. He had taken the same wilderness journey years before and knew from personal experience its rottenness, heat, and distance. And so he said, I will move along slowly, since you have never been this way before. Joshua chapter 3 verse 4 We have never been this way before, but the Lord Jesus has. It is all untraveled and unknown ground to us. But he knows it all through personal experience. He knows the steep places that takes our breath away, the rocky paths that make our feet age, the hot and shadeless stretches that brings us to exhaustion, and the rushing rivers that we have to cross. Jesus has gone through it all before us. As John chapter 4, 6 says, shows Jesus tired as he was from the journey, sat down. He was battered by every possible torrent, but all the floodwaters coming against him never quenched his love. Jesus made a perfect leader by the things he suffered. He knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. Think of that when you are tempted to question the gentleness of his leading. He remembers all the times and will never make you take even one step beyond what your feet are able to endure. Never mind if you think you are unable to take another step, for either he will strengthen you to make you able, or he will call a sudden halt, and you will not have to take it all. In pastures green, not always, sometimes, he who knows best in kindness leadeth me in weary ways where heavy shadows be. So whether on the hilltops high and fair I dwell or in the soundless valley where the shadows lie, what matter? He is there. My beautiful people, you are so loved by Jesus. Sometimes we pressing ourselves so hard that we are overworked, that we are in anxiety, 
that we are in such a bad situation and we are so tired to take another step. But here's the word of the shepherd that says, I know you. I know you very well. I know exactly how far you can go. And I'm here with you to walk with you or to carry you. But it's up to you. I don't push you. I will gently lead you and guide you by my Holy Spirit. Again, it's up to you. Blessings to all of you, my dear ones. This is your Pastor Yeti. I love you guys.